Hi guys, welcome back to Double Zero Garage. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you'll have seen that we got the water pump and the new thermostat replaced on the uh, on the charger. So they're all in, bolted up. If you haven't seen that video so far, I will put a link in the description below so you'll be able to watch that one and get caught up with where we are. Today, we're going to go into part four of changing all the cooling system on the front of the charger. And uh, we're going to start with the radiator and then we're going to go from there. Right, so just about to put the radiator in. Now, as I said previously, uh, this is an automatic car, so the radiator has these two ports at the bottom where these fit in, and that's just to connect cooling pipes up for the transmission because as yet I don't have a standalone transmission cooler. So I'm just going to get those put in, and then we'll go from there so we can get the radiator in today. As you noticed, all those two fittings, I've already covered them in PTFE tape, sometimes known as Teflon tape, just to stop any leaks coming out. They didn't have that on originally, but obviously I'm just making sure that there's not going to be any leaks when it gets filled up. So I'll just lower that in there for now.
So now that the radiator is full and not leaking, so we're going to put the fan on with the pulley, which is a little more awkward because the radiator is in now. We'll give it a go and see where we end up. This is obviously not going to be as easy as I thought it would be. This isn't going to be easy. finally getting the fan to go in with the pulley so if you're doing this at home and you're going to change your radiator and the hoses and the thermostat don't forget when you take everything apart in order to make it easy to put it in don't do it the way I did it put the fan on first with the pulley and then the radiator in otherwise you'll find you need to have the hands of an octopus
if you like the challenge, by all means, put it in the way I've done. I've also filled the radiator. I've just filled it with water at the moment, just to make sure nothing's leaking. And as yet, nothing appears to be leaking. So once I get it fired up, what I'll do is I'll drain the water out and I'll put the proper mix of coolant in. That's the fan in, with a nice quiet water pump now, you can actually hear it moving water around inside. Right, I think it's time for a cold snack and then I'll put the fan belt on. I know this isn't going to work properly, but I'm just putting it in temporarily to see if I can get it to turn over. That'll do for now. She's your big type battery.
Hey guys, I just want to stop the video there just to uh, say a big thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you to everyone for continuing to watch and continue to support the channel. Um, I've noticed though there's a lot of people that are watching that aren't yet subscribed. If not, why not? You're missing all the fun. Uh, there's loads of bits and pieces coming up in the future, loads of stuff coming up, all manner of different cars, different things, loads of quality programming to watch. So um, do me a favour, help support the channel, just subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. It's all free, but uh, if you ring the bell, you'll get notified from YouTube every time I upload some new content. And now back to the video. Right, so obviously it wouldn't start, we're just getting a click, so listening to the noise, it sounds as though it's coming from the starting solenoid. Fortunately, I just happen to have a new start solenoid. So I'm just going to change the starting solenoid, um, it goes on the firewall of the car, underneath the wiring block. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off first, and then just change the wires over so I can change them like a mirror image, whilst I've got easy access to it. So I've got one nut out already. Or one ball out already, it's just a case of taking the other one out. I think it would be easier if we just take it out without that. And obviously the key here is not to drop it on the ground. Even though you're probably all waiting for me to drop it on the ground, I'm going to try not to. that's loose on there and it's simply a case of taking all the wires out as they are on this one and replacing them in the same place on the new one As you can see, she's running. So the problem would appear to have been a dead uh, start solenoid which is lying around somewhere for the bin. I'm not going to run too long because there's no fan belt on yet so there's no water pump spinning. So I don't want to cook it now that I'm just getting it sorted again. Very responsive as well. Well, we're part way there. All I need now is a fan belt and then all the other bits and pieces of service and the plugs, the leads. I can do it at the end of it because I've got other cars to work on. But I'll leave you with a quick walk around of the car and how the exhaust sounds at the back and then we'll have to show it off in case it gets too hot. Right, well, now that it's up and running, we'll leave this video there. We'll see you soon on Double Zero Garage. Bye for now.